Hey, here's Egbert standing on his house. Hey, Egbert. All right. Today we're going to go over a few of the ways that you can tell if your uh, females are in heat. Which we have Nigerian dwarfs, and you can see our two little males right there fighting. So that's uh, that's the son of this one. So we had to separate them because we know that she's coming into heat right now because she's wagging her tail, and uh, she was making some noises earlier and. If you get up really close to them, which she's in heat and uh, a little bit skittish anyway, so we're gonna walk over to this one. Oops, it's alright, Lee, who's not in heat. And we're just gonna look back here and I'm gonna show you what I'm looking at. So, uh, there we are. So that's the bum, that's where it comes out. And then that's the, uh, I guess it's still called a vagina. And it is gonna be secreting a milky substance from there. and. When they're mid-heat, it'll be dropping off that tip point right there. Um, so mid-heat would be that second day. Um, and that's the only day that they can actually get pregnant and successfully breed. Um, so if you don't have any males and they're not all hitting on them and standing next to them all the time and just got females by yourself, then look for that. Uh, and also look for them just getting loud and, and yelling a little bit more than normal and then write that date on your calendar and then check every well from 18 days to 28 days after that keep checking and uh, once you see that happen again uh, then you'll know how often they have their cycle and, and then you can know if you want to get it bred uh, you can take it to your breeder on more of an exact day so that either goats don't have to be gone for you know weeks to months at a time just to make sure they get pregnant. Alright, that's it.